So welcome to video number eight. And in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to use Evernote. And as you will see, it's actually very, very basic and it really comes down to creating notes. It's a very, very basic editor. And really what the power comes into play is your understanding of the fundamentals and merely using the tools as a means to organize your notes. So as I showed you in the previous video, in video number seven, on how to utilize Wonderlist, Wonderlist is great for to-do lists, but the problem with it is when it comes to gathering notes, taking documentation, it gets really tedious when it comes to that point. And that's why Evernote is used in our line of productivity tools. So what I wanna do now is just walk you through quickly and then we'll jump right in to utilizing the actual tool. So you can go to evernote.com slash products to get access to Evernote. Now, as you will see in just a minute, there are three different versions as of now, and I'll show you what they do, how they differ, and the features and options and benefits so that you have an idea of what's actually going to be good for your business. So let's talk about the features. Well, it allows you to create notes in notebook collection of notes and stacks and collection of notebooks. So essentially what it allows you to do is really, really, really organize everything. So you can assign notes to a notebook. So you can categorize a particular notebook as specifically maybe a category of tasks and you can assign notes to a notebook and you can assign a default notebook for new notes to go to, say, for example, uh, events. You can also build a stack by dragging and dropping the notebooks together. When it comes to sharing, this is something that you want to have and you want to make sure that is effective, especially if you are running a business or if you have a career that requires some sort of team collaboration. And this is what happens and where it comes to into play, where it becomes productive for you and your team itself. So you can actually share notes via link or URL. You can share notes by posting to Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. You can share notes by email, and you can have other people edit your notes and collaboration. And there are some mobile app features as well, so for those of you who have an Android or iPhone, it's good to have, and that's why we like the tool as well, because it's compatible with different platforms essentially. But you can actually convert a picture to text by accessing your phone camera. And you, it also has a business card reader accessible by using the phone camera. And it automatically adds it to your contacts list as well. There's also a browser add-on that you can get access to. If you go to evernote.com slash web clipper, that is the browser plugin. And you can also do what we call task clone. You can automatically copy Evernote notes to Wonderlist. And there are also three different versions which I'll talk about right now. So when you go to Evernote and you sign up, this is what you're going to see. You're gonna see three different levels and as you can see, there's different options for different levels. So I've actually used the premium version. And as you can see here, you can clip from anywhere on the web. So you can actually grab it and turn it into a note. So this is not just merely you know, creating notes. It's about grabbing stuff elsewhere from your research. You can share and discuss within Evernote. You can sync it across phones, access notes when you're offline, which is convenient especially if you're in a business meeting or something that doesn't have access to Wi-Fi. You can save an email into Evernote. So essentially you can turn emails into notes as well. You can search for office documents and attachments, which is great for finding things really quick when you need it. You can also annotate attached PDFs and you can do a lot more. Now, if I go down, as you can see, this is $49 per year plus six months free. Now, if you go down the line, only these are available for the plus version. And to be honest, what I found is what I recommend is you start from the lowest point. 
And as you realize that, okay, I need a little bit more, you know, move up. And, and you're like, okay, I feel like I need all these other options, then move up. That way you're able to not spend as much money and you'll save money in the long term. And you'll be able to test it out to see what's good for you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the free just so that we can all see the same system. Because I assume that most of you will start with the free version. So we'll click that here. And this is what we see here. So as you can see, it's very, very basic. But you have business trash, we have all notes, we have first notebook, and we have trash. Now, right here, this allows you to create new notebooks. So we could create a new notebook for, say, for example, personal events and click Save. And then maybe we could make another one called Personal Urgent. Urgent important. And then if you run a business, you might want to say urgent important. So really what it comes down to is you figuring out and creating those notebooks. And then after that, you click the notebook. And as you can see, you can click on new note up at the top. And it's really, really easy. But you click here and then you can actually add the note right here. So for example, business urgent important. Let's say, for example, that we have project A, and then we put, so we put all our, our notes in here. And as you can see, very, very basic. It's, you know, you can change your font size, color bold, and you can also set a reminder, which is actually very convenient because you always want to set reminders because you will likely forget about stuff. So personally, I like the reminder setting just like I do with Wonderlist. And as you can see, you can open up in a new window if you wish so that you can have more room to edit. But as far as that goes, it's actually very, very basic to do. Now, when you're done, all you have to do is click share and you can share it via Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, email, or a link. And then of course you click info. You can also set the specifics like the title, the notebook, the tags, and having additional tags is actually quite convenient, especially when they cross-reference other notebooks as well. And you can see that it was created on a certain day at a certain location, and you can set a URL and also the author as well. So if you have team collaboration, you can see the author and it'll make life a lot easier. But as far as that goes, that's really what it comes down to. Evernote is really, really basic compared to Wonderlist, but it does what you need it to do as long as you have the fundamentals that you can apply to the tools.